Going to do a little walk around of my 6x12 cargo trailer camper conversion. This is built on a aluminum cargo trailer chassis. On this side it has a window. It has a 270 degree awning by Overland Vehicle Systems. It's got two exterior lights which are white or amber. Uh, which is nice so at night you know you can turn on the amber it's not as aggressive as the, as the bright white lights but you have the white lights for loading or setting up camp and then down on the front here we have a power output so if you want to plug in a set of lights or you know motorcycle charger or you know whatever it might be you have that option coming around to the back side this is a ramp door trailer it's currently set up for a couple motorcycles. You could also fit a four-wheeler, um, a snowmobiler too inside. So very versatile setup. We've got one more of the white or amber lights on the top there. And then on the driver's side of the trailer, two more of the lights, as well as a vent fan and a power input. So the vent fan is a round max fan. I went with this one for a couple of reasons. I didn't want to put any holes in the ceiling. I live in Minnesota, I didn't want to have to deal with any snow potentially building up and leaking. Um, and it's got a nice cover. So this is just a shield for the fan, so it doesn't you know, get any water in the top. So you could potentially have it open in a rainstorm. Down here is the power input. Real simple, just plug in a, a drop cord. So if I wanted to charge the Jackery or plug into shore power for the trailer or run a generator, you have those options. On the front, we have a propane tank set up. Uh, nothing in the camper runs on propane, but if you wanted to bring with a outdoor grill, a Blackstone, or potentially in the future, if we put a, a propane furnace in, we're all set up for it. So setting up the awning is super fast, really simple. It can be done by one person. And this is mounted using all of the components supplied with the awning. All I did is put a little hook right there on the side of the camper and then I use a carabiner to hook, hook the awning into it. And then the same thing on the front side of the camper. Here's the front side of the camper carabiner. The awning does have legs that are velcroed up. You can bring them down. And then it's got little uh, little ground straps with, with tent stakes, but it's pretty stable without it. It's fairly windy today and it's still real stable. Uh, the reason I want this awning is because it covers the whole front door as well as the whole ramp door. So this is how the awnings mounted to the roof of the trailer. These are factory supplied brackets. And then we just used U-bolts to go around the roof supports of the trailer. So if you had a roof rack, this would easily mount to that. And there's three of them and they're bolted to here. So we tested everything, then we bolted this to the back, lifted this all up as one unit and put it on. Here's the camper all set up. Pretty basic setup. I mean, nothing too crazy, but very functional, very adaptable. Whether you're snowmilling or motorcycling or four wheeling uh, or just hiking, um, or maybe you're, you know, going to a swap meet and you need a bunch of storage space.
So really, really flexible space. At the end of the day, you still have 95% of the trailer space. So the inside of the camper is super simple. We removed all the plywood, insulated the walls with one inch styrofoam, insulated the ceiling, and then put plastic board on the ceiling. We've got a spare tire on the driver's side. These wooden platforms are the bed frame. So you can put half of the bed down or the whole bed down. Um, you can also leave the front bike in and have the bed down. Next to the door here, we have the step ladder. A little coat rack. We also have USB charging ports on both sides of the bed. The driver's side bed frame is actually in front of the window. Just a little bit of theft protection. Don't have to worry about someone breaking the window and getting in. Um, USB on the driver's side as well. This little shelf actually folds down. So in transit it can be down and then uh, this is mainly for the closet rod, so I can hang up wet gear or, you know, whatever it might be. It's also nice to have the shelf for hats or whatever. On the front here, we have a broom, just nice to keep things clean. Here's the vent fan. It's a round fan, just pushes open. That's got the on-off right there. These are poles for the awning if you choose to use them. This is the power input down here and it's wide so you've got this extra one if you want to you know plug in a bike or something else. Pretty simple power setup so this is plugged into the shore power right now otherwise I can unplug this and plug it straight into the jackery over here and then the jackery would power everything. Everything plugs into the power strip then the power strip plugs into shore power or the jackery. So on this bottom shelf, we've got the coffee pot, we've got the jackery, which if you're on shore power, the jackery could plug in to get charged as well. And then we have a microwave. The fridge is below that stuff and that can be plugged into the 12 volt or to the 120 volt. Next to the fridge, I've got room for another cooler or long term, uh, that would be where the heater went if we decide to put in a diesel heater or a propane heater, either one would fit right there. Up on top here, a simple power station. So we've got our fuse block here. And then next to that, we've got our switches. So we've got USB, USB power here, cigarette plug here, and then the switches. So these three are three-way switches, on, off, on for the outside lights. That controls the white and the amber. And then the vent fans on this switch here, so. Um, so the way this is powered is the fuse box is plugged into the cigarette plug here and then this can get plugged into the jackery or into this outlet right here which is powered off of this DeWalt 20 volt battery. So a 20 volt battery, a voltage converter down to 12 volts and then that cigarette plug. The reason I did it this way is that way if you're you know, going on a quick trip, maybe you're not bringing the jackery with. You can still run the lights and the fan without issue. Um, but then in the event that you did have the jackery, now you can plug in, you can run everything off the jackery. So the microwave, the coffee pot, as well as the 12 volt side of things. Um, so far it's worked pretty good. I don't have a lot of hours in it, on it, but we'll see long term. Um, just kind of a neat solution I came up with mirror and then also on the countertop we've got a couple outlets and a couple usb ports so you want to charge your phone or the gopro or you know plug in the coffee pot up here maybe a hair dryer whatever it is uh, then we've got this big countertop um, you could put a cooktop on here if you want to cook inside the camper um, otherwise just a nice place to to have to work from on the wall we mounted this cabinet and the cabinet just stores everything that lives in the camper or in the trailer. So bottom shelf is all straps. So you got tie downs for motorcycles or four wheelers or whatever's in here. Top shelf, we've got the bed stuff. So we've got the air mattress pump, the air mattress, and then some extra parts for the awning. Um, just nice to have everything located in one spot. 
don't ever have to worry about forgetting stuff at home. We've got one five jug of water down there, one five gallon jug down there. There's room for a second one. Little entryway floor mat. Ladders mounted on this wall. The ladder we bring with for the awning. Um, I'm just tall enough to open it up, but I need the ladder to put it away. This light switch here runs this solo inside light that was originally part of the trailer. So if you're, you know, pulling the trailer, this light will work when you're hooked up to the pickup. So setting up the bed is super simple. You just undo the ratchet strap that puts the bed up against the wall. And then lower the frame down. So the bed can be utilized just one side or both sides. So here's with the bed set up and the lights on. You can see plenty of storage underneath the bed, plenty of headroom on the bed. You can look out the window. If it's nice out, you can look out the back door. These lights are dimmable. They're also got, you know, a cool mode. Just a couple different options, which it's nice in a small space. You can change the uh, change the feel of it. Got this up. There we go. Hang up our clothes. So plenty plenty of space inside to you know get dressed, uh, do your makeup. If you wanted to cook in here, you got room for it. Hang up your jackets. Uh, I got this little shade off of Amazon just real simple just velcros over the window and it's you know multi-piece so you can bring it up or down and we're all packed up uh, I think under five minutes for taking the bed apart packing up the air mattress you know putting the bike away strapping the bike down putting the awning in so pretty quick setup, tear down. Um, and like I said, you still got a whole trailer, so plenty of room for hauling things. Here's the exterior lights on. This is white. And then if you flip that same switch up, There's amber. It's just a nice option for, you know, nighttime. You don't want the bright white light shining on you in camp. <laughs> 